Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through an old Pink Floyd song called Comfortably Numb. And it starts on a B minor chord. And the way you play B minor, first finger is going to go across the entire second fret. Second finger is going to go to the B on, on the third fret. Third finger is going to go to the D on the fourth fret, and the pinky goes underneath it on the G on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a B minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. But if you're just starting out and the bar chord's kind of difficult, there are a couple other ways you could play that chord. Um, one alternate would be to take first finger and go to the high on the second, second finger to the B string on the third, and the third finger to the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum just the top three strings with that, or even the top four strings actually, then that, that sounds a B minor chord, but you'll really get your clear sound on the top three with, with that particular one. And another way you could play it is you could, you could still keep first finger on the high E second, second finger on the B on the third, and then take third finger and go D on the fourth fret, and the pinky underneath that on the G on the fourth fret, and if you strum the top four with that, that sounds a B minor too. So, so, so you may want to think about using those as alternatives. When through the video, I'm just going to use just the full bar B, B minor. It just sounds bigger. So we do B minor for our intro like twice, and then for when our verses start, we stay on the B minor. But then we go to an A major chord, and the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D on the second, second finger on the G on the second, and the third finger on the B on the second. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from A major, we're going to go to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger goes to the A on the second, second finger goes low E on the third fret, or thick E on the third, and the third finger is the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from G major, we're going to an E minor chord. And when you play E minor, first finger goes to the A on the second, second finger goes to the D on the second fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that sounds like E minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from E minor, we're going to go back to the B minor chord. And that's basically our verse through, through the whole tune is we got B minor, A major, G major, E minor. B minor, B minor, A major, G major, E minor, B minor. And then when we get to our chorus part, we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger goes to G on the second, second finger goes to the high on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord. And on our chorus, we, we do the D major, and then we do the A major, and then D major, A major. But then we go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger to the D on the, on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord. And then from C major, we go to G major, C major, G major, and then we go back to D major, A major, D major, A major, C major, G major, C major, G major. And then C major, G major, D major. So those are basically our two chord progressions through the song for the verse and the chorus. And the solos are actually kind of paralleling that. The first solo around the, the, the chorus and then the second solo in the vamp at the end around the verse. Um, but a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding a strum pattern to it. And my favorite 4-4 four, four strum pattern is actually down, down, up, up, down, up, which you can kind of get to work with this, but it doesn't sound quite like, like Floyd, but um, we could definitely try that. We, we could take the B minor and then go down, down, up, up, down, up, and then we go to, oh, and actually we could just take the B minor and just try that a lot, just that down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, just to kind of get used to it, because you really want to practice that strum pattern a lot, just kind of get your right hand just Try that through our verse progression. It's basically, we could do that strum pattern through all our chords, except for when we get to the G E minor, we're just gonna half those. So when we get to the G, we're gonna go just down, down, up, and then the E minor the same way. Down, down, up. So that's a little weird, but but we'll, we'll, 
you know, we'll kind of work that out when we get there, right? So I'm going to take B minor and then do that whole strum pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, hey, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down. try that same thing where we'd have the D with the down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up. So we have C down up G down down and then the D with the whole strum pattern down down up up down up. But really for this song, instead of working off an eighth note feel, and, and what an eighth note is is where like if you're tapping your foot to the beat, you'd be dividing the, the beat into two parts. One two one two one two. We call that an eighth note. Instead of that kind of feel, which the down down up up down up kind of has. Um, in this song, you really kind of feel a 16th note strum pattern. So to, to kind of try that, like if you're tapping your foot and divide it into four parts, and went one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're really kind of feeling behind things in, in the pulse of the song. So just to try this, like we took the B minor, and basically like, like well, should, should we really take B minor? I don't know, let's take the D. We'll take the D major just to try this strum pattern because B minor, for, if you're not used to bars, can be difficult. So, so basically, what you do on the 16th note strum pattern, my favorite 16th note strum pattern is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And basically, the way this works is you'd be doing a down and counting four. So, if we take the D just, just to try that, we could take the D and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. On the second beat, you're going down, down, up. So you're doing the down on one, and then the down, up on three and four. So it's kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on beat three, you're doing an up on two and a down on, on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, up. pattern you're just doing down up down up right along with the one two three four so you got down up down up down up down up one two three four one two three four one two three four so we took all those little parts and put them together you'd have long down 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 up up down chords before now we're just going to be doing the long down 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 up on those chords the only place we're doing that in the verse is between the g and the e minor so you might even want to just try that where you're doing the down 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 up so you got g down 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 e minor down try that as kind of a thing and the only place where we're halfing it through through the chorus is between the C and the G so you may want to try that too where you're going C down 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 G down 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 C down 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 G down 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 C down 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 G down 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 up 
everybody else will have that long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up strum pattern. So we took it from our intro, we'd have B minor, down, 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 up, up, down.
be minor. To, to the very end, just to, like through the vamp and the fame. So that's the basis of how you play comfortably known by Pink Floyd. So good luck! <laughs>